Hello everyone, Hector Mendoza here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to select a portion or let's say lines from a file using Notepad 2. Or you can also say we're going to select a section or select an area from a file using Notepad. For those of y'all that uh, have not installed Notepad 2, at the end of the video, I will show you where to go and uh, step by step on how to install the program. So if you had a document and you wanted to select some columns or let's say maybe five sentences or ten sentences, but you only wanted one column, two columns or three columns, it would be hard for you to select them. So I have, I have a document here. If I try to select the areas that you just saw me uh, uh, highlight, for instance, let's say that I wanted to just select the buildings. You see, there's no way that I can select the buildings. Now, I could go in here, you know, select uh, this building, hold my control key, select this one, hold my control key, and, and do that this way. And then you know you could go in here and se select other areas but if you have a big document that's that can be very cumbersome so I don't care if you have spaces between columns so if I show my hidden you know characters you can see that those are spaces now I have a another page where I have tabs it's the same document but one is tabs now if I try to do the same thing if I try to select an area I'm not able to so this is what you can do well one thing you could do if you you know let's say if you do have tabs I'm gonna select this areas here I'm gonna hit control C I'm gonna open up Excel second here okay um, control in and I pasted those uh, sentences into an Excel file now I could go in and um, select for instance let's say I wanted all of these areas here or let, let, let's say I could even select it this way watch like this or I can select them all and then I could delete them uh, now with that other program there's something cooler that we can do so but you're not always gonna have this option not uh, not everything gonna copy back with tabulation so I do a lot of copy and pasting from a bunch of programs and sometimes uh, you need notepad 2 to do what you're gonna do so let me show you something for this exercise I am going to select from the beginning of this page till the end I'm gonna hit control C I'm gonna open up notepad 2 and I'm gonna hit control V in notepad 2 there's a lot of things you can do First of all, you know, you can select like you would normal in any document. But let's say that you wanted only certain sections of that document. I'm going to place my cursor right in front of the one. I'm going to hold my Alt key. I want to left click and drag and select uh, just the selections. So at this point, what I can do is let's say I can delete while all of that stuff is selected I can either hit a tabulation and you can see the tabs right here you see it has that a line with an arrow or or and I can put let's say I wanted a column in there uh, like a do not remove space so 
you see what it did it, uh, instead of instead of the uh, the numbers and the yes I inserted that stuff in there so now let's say that um, you have a lot of spaces that you want to remove or I'll tell you what let's let's delete all of this from Friday this one column all the way until um, Saturday okay so I'm gonna start here I'm gonna hold my alt key I'm gonna left click go down uh, go to right here and I'm gonna make sure that I'm not selecting nothing that I don't want to delete on the right hand side so here instead of um, all those dates I'm gonna hit tab and it's gonna put a tabulation so let's see what this does in Microsoft Word I want to hit uh, select an area hit control C go to Word uh, let me just hit or oh, it went to a I got a bunch of monitors so I'm gonna hit control in so I can create a new document and then I'm gonna get that document I'm gonna put it right in here and then I'm gonna right click and hit control well not right click not control V just right click and put it in there now you, you can see what what it did see it put those tabulations right in there where I wanted them okay so uh, now if I wanted to remove all those spaces right here those are spaces see they're just spaces I can remove all of those spaces just like what we did while ago. So I'm going to hit Control A, delete, come down here, and um, so um, you see right here we have a bunch of spaces right there. Let's say you want to remove them. If I hold my Alt key and I'm going to go right before that first tabulation, then I can just delete. Now all I all I have is a tab same thing here I can click here hold my alt key and and hit uh, tab let's say we want um, we want to start from Monday so uh, let me see 31 I put a space oh okay look what we'll do is we're gonna follow that format at the top so I'm gonna Hold my Alt key, go all the way down here, and then I'm going to hit, uh, well, I'm going to type do not remove, and then I'm going to hit tab. Now, this format is all the same. But remember, we removed from on the other side, we removed from here, so I'm going to hit my Alt key click and drag all the way to here and I'm going to hit delete now we're starting to look just like this so when I bring it into Word one last thing is you know we do have a, a few spaces here that we might have to remove uh, at this point I can just uh, just start selecting them and just delete them delete them you also can do a search and find and remove spaces I'm just showing you a few things that you can use a uh, notepad with now let me show you how you can install this program and where to go at the bottom of my video you're gonna see this link you can copy and paste it so once you get to this site you're gonna go and um, depends on what kind of computer you have you're gonna download one of this downloads mine is a 64-bit computer so I'm gonna click on download and if you notice down here once it's finished you'll see this icon here so I can click here and then click right here now if I click on this little icon it's gonna open up the folder 
or if I just want to install it I don't care about opening up the folder you can just click here and then it, it starts install in your first dialog you're gonna see this uh, install language just hit OK if that's the language you want you would hit next you would hit agree next next right here what you want to do is click on this if you want a shortcut to your desktop hit install and that's all it is you just hit finish and now you have the program so it'll launch it'll automatically launch if you go to your desktop then you're gonna have that icon right there so that's all there is to it guys